Welcome back to the video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your homepage. And we're going to begin by customizing this headline. To edit an element is really straightforward. You simply click and you can type whatever you want. So I'm going to come up with a pretty unimaginative title here. Um, this is a great way to really get your listeners' attention. So it's important thinking of a good one-liner to describe your radio station. This is pretty much generic. Um, we're happy with that. Really easy, as you can see, all you have to do is click on stuff to edit it. Um, and when you click away, it will save. This orange publish button is important. That works a bit like a save button. And as you can see, website's been published. It'll present me with the URL. As I signed up through radio.co, this was provided to me and it's all been set up and pre-configured. I don't have to worry about changing anything. And as you can see here, we've got nothing but the best music and it's that simple. It really is that easy. The next thing we're going to do is maybe customize this background image. If I click on edit image here, you can see I'm presented with a load of stock images. And for this example, let's just go with something fairly generic. Uh, let's have a look at one of these crowd images, for example. If I'm happy with that, I can click select. If you want to upload your own background image, you can upload from your computer. Click on select and then what I'm going to do is hit save save to all pages and there we go we've got a different background image if I want to change the station title I can just simply click up here and type or if I want to change it to a logo I can simply select logo upload something from my computer but I'm happy with this kind of fancy text we've got as a default for now next up this listen button here well this button here I want to change this to say listen in so if I click on the button I click button text, I can then adjust this to say listen live or whatever I want it to say. If I hit back then um, and click link, you can see you can link it to a website URL. Now on our radio.co control panel, if I go down to listen and scroll down below our players, you'll see streaming links. So what I want to do is link this first link here on our homepage to this button. So if I paste that in, click open link in your window so the stream opens in a separate tab and then if we click publish again and refresh our home page we'll now have a button so if I click on that as you can see automatically the users uh, browse will open with the stream playing or if they have an older browser it will open with iTunes or something like that all right that's so we've already got a website that's functional you know how easy was that it was literally a few clicks you've got a website people can tune into your radio station and you can begin adding further functionality. The next thing I want to do is add a player right down here where it says choose a layout. So what I want to do is drag where it says embed code onto this section. Again, if you want to add anything, text or a title or an image, you just drag and drop. With the embed code, it says click to edit set custom HTML. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go back to our radio.co control panel what I want to do is grab a player which I've already created for, again from the listen section and if I click on this here and click edit if you've not created a player you can add one pretty easily and then we want to copy this embed code again I paste it back in on our website builder and it's that easy the player is working how straightforward is that again hit the publish button and uh, we'll visit the website and as you can see, the player has now been embedded on our home page. Next up, we're going to look at how you can set up a blog to your website. Blogs are really important because they tell Google that your website is regularly updated and Google loves fresh content. Blogging is a great way to drive listeners to your station. So let's get started setting up a blog in the next video.